Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Slider Cuts Shaping Up Culture, episode four. Make yourself valuable. That's the title of this episode. What does that mean, make yourself valuable? In everything you do in life, make yourself valuable, especially when it comes to business. Where this title came from was, I had a conversation with somebody who I know who was in a job, they felt unstable in their job. They weren't sure if their boss was gonna keep them or not. They just weren't sure, so they weren't actually, one, working to the best of their ability, because they were like, I'm not sure if they're even gonna keep me on. You know, they might sack me, you know, this and that. But the reason why they potentially were gonna get sacked was because of their work ethic and their work, um, their work in. What was happening then was you were going to not work as hard because you weren't sure if they wanted to keep you. They ended up parting ways, we're gonna say that, you know. But I remember, I gave this person the advice. I said to this person, what you need to do is not worry about what they want to do and just make yourself valuable. If you make yourself valuable, especially when it comes to business, you make yourself an asset. Even if someone needs to cut you because of budget cuts and stuff like that, you become the person they don't want to let go of because you have made yourself an asset, something of value to the business. As example, if you are a cleaner and you clean offices and stuff like that, you are valuable because you add to the psyche of the people who work there. Nobody wants to come to work to a dirty environment. When you come to work and it's really clean and stuff like that, that makes you feel more comfortable to work there and you can work more efficiently and so on. If you clean the place to make it spotless, you are making yourself valuable because when they start talking about we need to make some cuts and they're like, okay, let's cut the cleaner. You think, they then think, ah, oh, but do we wanna come here? Do you know how clean they make the place, this and that. Make yourself valuable. Make yourself that person that if they have to let go of you, they know it's gonna leave a hole in their business. Don't just do the things you're supposed to do which might be okay, you know what, I'm paid to, you know, do the books. Do above and beyond. Like, make yourself an asset because those people in, a, in life are the people which you don't want to get rid of. We need to stop looking at other people and looking at them and saying, do you know what, should I work my best? Oh, do you know what, they might even keep me. Do they deserve all of these things there? Stop thinking like that. See yourself as an asset, make yourself valuable. Even if they cut you, make it that it's going to affect their business. And I'm not saying in a spiteful way that, oh, if, I, if, if you cut me, it's gonna affect your business, but just make it that you're the person that they don't want to let go of because of what you add to them. And that goes in other areas in life. That goes in relationships. Make yourself valuable in a relationship. Don't have this attitude where it's kind of like, you know, I'm doing me, I do whatever I want, this and that. Because when you get cut, nobody cares. And furthermore, the grass becomes greener. <laughs> so if you're working a job, as example, and you're having this attitude of, I don't care, Oh, I don't like these people anyway. It's, I'm going to do what I want. Do you know what? They're not giving me clarity, so I'm not going to do my work and stuff like that. When you get cut, all that's going to happen is they're going to find someone else who actually does the job a lot better and be happy that they've cut you. And what I'm trying to say is make it the opposite way. Make it that if they cut you, they actually probably want to call you back because they realise how important you were or are to the business. Make yourself an asset, not a liability. In everything you do, understand that you are representing yourself. So you should always represent yourself to the best of your ability. Do not watch the job you're doing, whether it's small or big. Do it to the best of your ability. Make sure that people have good things to say about your work ethic and the things that you do. You don't want your name going around of that person's lazy. That person is rude. That person doesn't do anything. That person cuts corners. In everything you do to the best of your ability is the thing I always say. When you're working, work like God is your boss. Because if you work like God is your boss, then you understand that God is everywhere. If your boss was in front of you, as example, when you were working, if you're working and your boss is in front of you working, he or she would probably always get the best out of you because you're always on watch. See it as God is your boss and you're always on watch. And believe me, I can guarantee you, fruit will grow from it. Make yourself valuable. Thanks guys for tuning in to another episode of Cider Cuts Shaping Up Culture. This episode has been about making yourself valuable. It's very important guys, because you represent yourself in everything that you do. So you wanna make sure that you leave a good impression everywhere you go. And you wanna make sure that if anybody ever wants to cut you in life, it will be the hardest decision they make. Make yourself valuable, be an asset, not a liability.